Here we've got another partial fraction question, but this time we've got an improper fraction. We've got a top-heavy fraction. We know an algebraic fraction is top-heavy if the power on the top is the same or higher than the power on the bottom. So here we've got a quadratic on the top and a quadratic on the bottom, so it's improper. To split an improper fraction into partial fractions, we need to do something first. We need to make it a proper fraction, and we do that with algebraic division. So we're going to take the numerator, so we've got x squared plus 8x plus 13, and we're going to divide it by the denominator. So the denominator in this case, if we expanded the bracket, we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 3x, so plus 5x, and plus 6. So we're going to take the numerator, divide it by the denominator. So how many x squareds going to x squared? 1. And then we're going to multiply down by the 1. So 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 5x is 5x. And 1 times 6 is 6. We're going to take away to see what's left. So we've got x squared take away x squared is nothing. 8x take away 5x is 3x. And 13 take away 6 is 7. And now x squared doesn't go in to 3x, so we're actually finished. So we can rewrite our fraction now as 1 on the outside, one whole one, plus the remainder, which is 3x plus 7, over the denominator, the original, the original denominator, x plus 3 and x plus 2. And now we can split the fraction part, so split this part, into partial fractions, just how we did before. So we've changed it into a proper fraction, so now we can carry on as normal. So we're going to say that 3x plus 7 over x plus 3 and x plus 2 is equal to a over x plus 3 plus b over x plus 2. Then we're going to multiply through by the denominator. So we'll get 3x plus 7 is a times x plus 2 and b times x plus 3. And then we're going to find out what a and b are. So we're going to eliminate b by letting x equal negative 3. So let x equal negative 3. So that's 3 negative 3s plus 7 equals a times negative 3 plus 2. And we've eliminated b because b times 0 is 0. So what have we got? 3 negative 3s, negative 9 plus 7, negative 2 equals negative 1 times a, negative a. So a is 2. And how about b? Well, we're going to eliminate a by letting x equal negative 2. Let x equal negative 2. So we've got 3 negative 2's plus 7 are equal to a's gone. So b times negative 2 plus 3. 3 negative 2's, negative 6 plus 7 is 1 equals 1b, which is b. So b is 1. So let's rewrite the whole thing now. So we've got 1 on the outside, plus a, so 2, over x plus 3, plus b, 1, over x plus 2. And there we have, we've expressed it as partial fractions. Okay, here, another question. This time we've got a cubic on the top and a quadratic on the bottom. So again, it's top-heavy, it's improper, so we need to do the extra step of dividing the numerator by the denominator first. So we're going to have the... So we've got 2x cubed plus 3x squared, we've got no x's, so if you remember from algebraic division, we can't leave any gaps. 
So we've got three, two x cubes, three x squareds, no x's, minus two. And we're going to divide it by the denominator. So we're going to expand it first. x times x is x squared. x times negative one. And x times two. So ne negative one plus two is one. So we've got one x and two negative ones, negative two. How many x squareds go into 2x cubed? What's 2x cubed divided by x squared? So we've got 2x. And we're going to multiply through by the 2x. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Now we take that away. So 2x cubed take away 2x cubed is nothing. 3x squared take away 2x squared. That's 1x squared. And nothing take away negative 4. Negative 4x, so that's 4x. We're going to bring down the negative 2. And we'll go again. So how many x squared go into x squared? Or what's x squared divided by x squared? That's 1. And we're going to times through by the 1. So x squared plus x minus 2. So let's take away. x squared take away x squared is nothing. 4x take away x is 3x. And negative 2 take away a negative 2 is nothing. So we've got 3x as the remainder. That means we've got 2x plus 1 on the outside plus 3x is the remainder, and the denominator stays the same. So we can ignore the 2x plus 1, and we're going to split the fraction part into partial fractions. So 3x over x plus 2 and x minus 1 is going to be a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 1. We're going to multiply through by the denominator. So 3x equals a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2. And we're going to eliminate b by letting x equal negative 2. So let x equal negative 2. That gives us 3 negative 2s equals a times negative 2 minus 1. So 3 negative 2s is negative 6. And we've got a times negative 3. So a must be 2. a is 2. Now we're going to eliminate a by letting x equal 1. So that gives us 3 1s. a is gone. Equals b times 1 plus 2. So 3 equals 3b, so b must be 1. And that's it. So we're going to rewrite this. We've got 2x plus 1 plus a, which is 2, over x plus 2, plus b, which is 1, over x minus 1. And there's our answer. Okay, here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so we've got a quadratic on the top and a quadratic on the bottom. So again, we need to change it into a proper fraction before we split it into partial fractions. So we're going to divide the numerator, 2x squared plus 17x plus 11, by the denominator, which is 2x squared plus 4 plus 5x plus 2. How many 2x squareds go into 2x squared? That's 1. We times through by the 1. 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Take away. So we're left with 17 take away 5 is 12. And 11 take away 2 is 9. So the remainder is 12x plus 9. So we've got 1, 
We've got 12x plus 9 as the remainder, and the denominator hasn't changed. So we're going to ignore the 1, split the fraction part into partial fractions, and then we're done. So we're going to say 12x plus 9 over 2x plus 1, and x plus 2 is going to be equal to a over 2x plus 1, plus b over x plus 2. We're going to multiply through by the denominator, so 12x plus 9 equals a times x plus 2 plus b times 2x plus 1. We're going to eliminate b by letting x equal minus a half. Let x equal minus a half, so that's 12 minus a half plus 9 equals a times minus a half plus 2. 12 minus a half, that'd be minus 6, plus 9 is 3. And 2 minus a half is 1 and a half. That's easy, so I'll put 1.5a, so a is 2. And we're going to eliminate a by letting x equal minus 2. Negative 2, minus 2. So that's 12 negative 2s plus 9 equals b times 2 negative 2s plus 1. 12 negative 2s, that's minus 24, plus 9, so minus 15. And we've got minus 4 plus 1, so minus 3b. Divide both sides by negative 3, so b is 5. So let's rewrite that. So we had a 1 on the outside plus a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2. Okay, another one. So if you want another go at this, pause the video, give it a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so we've got a cubic and a quadratic. So again, improper fraction. So we're going to change it to a proper fraction first. So we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. x cubed divided by x squared, that's x, multiply through by the x, so we've got x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x's. Take away, take away, take away. So negative x squared, take away negative 3x squared, that's 2x squared. Negative 16x, take away negative 10x negative 6x and bring down the next one. 2x squared divided by x squared, that's just 2, and times through by the 2. So 2x squared minus 6x minus 20. Take away again, so 2x squared take away 2x squared is nothing. Negative 6x take away negative 6x is nothing. And negative 13 take away negative 20 that's 7. So we've just got 7 as the remainder. So we've got x plus 2 plus the remainder 7 over the denominator. So we're going to have to factorise the denominator. We're just going to focus on this bit and we're going to split it into partial fractions. So we're going to say that 7 over what multiplies to make negative 10 and adds to make a negative 3. We'll have minus 5 plus 2. So 7 over x minus 5 and x plus 2 is going to be a over x minus 5 plus b over x plus 2. Multiplying through by the denominator gives us 7 equals a 
times x plus 2 plus b times x minus 5. So we're going to eliminate the b by let, letting x equal 5, which gives us 7 equals a times 5 plus 2. So a is 1. And we're going to let x equal negative 2, which will give us 7 equals b times negative 2 minus 5. So 7 is minus 7b, so b is negative 1. So we're going to rewrite this as x plus 2 plus a, which is 1, over x minus 5, plus, no, we're not going to write plus, because b is negative 1. So we'll write minus 1 over x plus 2.